Okay, so this is the rack from Sun Gold Power. I was afraid it was going to be kind of chintzy, but it's pretty good. I mean, so far I'm building the base I put on. This is the top, and it looks like the smooth edge goes up. Obviously, this here, down here, these are the for the rollers, the casters. So I'm basically this is where the the batteries uh, face mount in. So I just put the top on the top two legs. And then I start just filling them in, and then I'll flip it over into the other side. So on these, you'll notice one side has no, no um, place to screw those screws into. That is the front. That goes here on the front. And then, see, there's no screws here to match up. So that those are the front. Okay, there's the finished rack. Um, these... Casters look pretty good, and that's a three-quarter inch uh, nut in there that you drive, tighten it up with, just three-quarter inch wrench. Flip it up, see what we got, huh? Show some batteries in it, so we see how it does. All right, see, we'll be locking them casters. Okay, so we put the first three, and we laid it on its back. I put the first bottom ones in. Of course, we locked the casters first. Laid it down, put the top, the bottom three in, and it's no problem for me and my son to lift it up into place. We'll put the last two in the top with it standing upright. All right, there's the five of them. It was easy, put all three, the bottom three in, two guys lift it, and put the other two in, because it's, you know, you're not bending over so far to just put the bottom ones in that way. Just make sure you lock the casters when you do it. Not a bad little cart. All right, got all those in. Got our bus bars on the side. I'll bring some zip ties tomorrow and tie up those. And then I'll come off the back of this, the back of that bus bar up to the bus bar that'll be on the wall. But yeah, those bus bars look pretty good. One more step done.